Shalom Aleichem Rabbi Yisrael. Now we're in the week of Kisei Tzela Melchoma Aloi Vecha. That has the most mitzvahs of any sedra in the Torah. In fact, it has 74 mitzvahs. It's not possible in a short video to go through 74, or even 35, or even 20, or even 10. There's tremendous, every three pasukim, there's another din. 74 mitzvahs. Kisei Tzela has a unique thing, four unique things. It has the most mitzvahs in the Torah. Number two, it has the only word in the Torah that has to be written two different ways, for Ashkenazim with an Aleph, and for Sfarim with a Hey. Pesua Dako, that's a man who has a mutilated uh, organ, that called Pesua Dako, crushed Beitzim, and that's written with an Aleph, the Aleph Chav Aleph for Ashkenazim, you can remember, an Aleph Ashkenazim, and a Hey for Sfarim. Two different ways to write it, so that's the only word in the Torah you can write, you have to write two different ways. And some words are suffix. Do you write it with a bob or without a bob, with a yud, with a hay? But this is vada, two different minhogim. To pursue a daka with an olive or with a hay. And that's the second unique thing about it. It's only, it's only said that it contains a word that you, you, know, that you write two different ways. And it also has a maximum amount of mitzvahs, any said in the Torah, 74. And also, it's the only said in the Torah that has one pusik that does not have any pshat. No pshat at all, only drosham. What is that? That's about a yibum. Uh, Yevama, a woman who's her brother-in-law, the Yimbum, has to marry her. And when he marries her, it says the Bechar gets double portion. That does not mean the Bechar, that means the second husband. He's the Bechar. He gets his brother's portion who died, and his portion. Now it's like a Bechar. That's the only pussy in the entire Torah that has no Peshach at all. Only Drasha. Look it up. Where are you going to look it up? I'll show you where to look it up. Here. The only part thing she ain't a That's number chav hey bar. And the fourth thing is, um, your fast Torah when it starts out with the beautiful woman you see in the in the war. It never ever happened such a thing that a Jewish soldier when he was kibush Eretz Yisrael the mechemes mitzvah. There's only two types of mechemes mitzvah: kibush Eretz Yisrael, destroying the Canaanim and lo sechayik on the shoma, take no captives, kill every single person, man, woman, and child. And burn down every building and every, every statue and every Vodah Zorah. Um, zero tolerance. That's Kimush Eretz Yisrael's Mechemes Mitzvah. And Mechemes Amalek is Mechemes Mitzvah. Every other war is Mechemes Rishus. Or expansion, war of expansion is Mechemes Rishus. And you can't have Mechemes Mitzvah unless you have Beis uh, Amigdash. Oh yeah, unless you have a Kohen and a Melech and Ruch Kodesh and Nebuah. There's no such thing as Mechemes Mitzvah even... 63 years ago, there's no such thing. You cannot have Mechamis Mitzvah. No such thing. It has to be Navi. And uh, that only Kimush Eretz Yisrael, why Navi tells you to destroy everybody in it. And Mechamis uh, Mamolek, and Yoshua, that was Kimush Eretz too. That was Mechamis uh, Mitzvah. All the other wars of expansion are Mechamis Rishus. And um, this, as said, just starts out with Milchemes Rishus, because you say, you see in amongst the captives a beautiful woman, Ashish Yipas Torah, Milchemes Mitzvah does not have captives. So it says over here, uh, there was never a man who took the, uh, was found a woman in, while he was Kibush Eretz Yisrael, Milchemes Mitzvah, that went through the Prasha of uh, Yipas Torah, took her home, cut off her hair. It never happened such a thing. Look at the Mayan base of Sheba, it never happened. Ah, Dovin Amelech has uh, 400 uh, B'nai Yifas Torah. They didn't have B'nai Yifas Torah. He had soldiers. Who were the children of women who were Yifas Torah? Look in the piece in the Maya there. Anyhow, let's take one piece from the Kiseitze. One piece. Now, this is going to shock most of you. If shock won't, but the Russia will. Ki Yikore Kan Sipor Lefanecho Badorech. You happen to go along the way, and you see a kosher bird nest. But there, b'chol eitz, or in the tree, or in the ground, o al haaretz, efrochim, little chicks, o beitzim, eggs that didn't hatch yet. Bo aim rovetzes al efrochim, and the mother is hovering around the efrochim, or over the beitzim, over the eggs. Lo sikach o aim al bonum, don't take the children away from the mother, or the mother away from the children, don't do that. Shalayach, the Shalach Zayim, send her away repeatedly. That's abundant. Then the children, alive, hatched, or not hatched, Tikah Vlach, take for yourself. The man Yitah Vlach, in order that it'll be good for you, Barach Toyomim, you'll live a long life. That's the end of that subject. There's so much loaded in here, I can't even tell you. Why does it say Barach Toyomim? You'll live a long life. 
So why does it say by end of Kriya Shema, Man Yirbu Yamechem? What's the difference between Horachti Yomim and Yirbu Yamechem? Huh? What means Horachti Yomim? You will live out your life. You have a long, full life. And what means at the end of Kriya Shema, the Man Yirbu Yamechem? It will add to your life. When you send away the mother bird, or Mechabed, your parents, Kibbut Abhaim, or um, Shalua Hakan, it says Barach to Yomim. But anything that has to do with Torah, you get additional years. The man Yirbu, they'll be added to you. For instance, the man Yitablach, or Rach Yomim, or the length of your days, nothing will shorten them. Shalua Hakan, the Kibbut Abhaim, Hayomim, she, you will live chai hayomer she cuts through loch that were intended for you. Live out your life all your days to the maximum. However, when you make your days full with Torah, you're learning something that's eternal. You get additional years. The man yirbu will be added to your years. She yosef the hayomim is the Indian kriya shema. You say kriya shema every day. That's remind yourself the omach l'shemayim. That's a Torah Jew. Talmud Torah says there, you mind the Moshe is Benechem, you part the bomb. Torah. To fill him. It says right over there, Shara Torah was And that's to fill him with Hazin the Kriya Shema. Tzitzis. 613 mitzvahs. Tzitzis is 605, not an eight string, 13, 613, all the mitzvahs of the Torah. That represents all Torah. It says over there, in the Pesut Chet, it's right in the third Pasha. In the Mazuzah's Kriyashma, part of it. Marvel is Sedra. You marvel the Sedra each week. So by Shabbos, you have the whole Sedra done. And to teach your children, all these things, you, 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 you have additional life, more than uh, the, what that was supposed to be when you were born. That's the difference between Yirbu and Arach Yomim. But that's not the shock I'm going to tell you. Look what it says here. Ki yikorei kansibur lefanecha baderech. Yikorei. It happens to come upon you. A nest. And it has to be a kosher verb. Because tzipar ends with a resh. Kosher ends with a resh. Of ends with a fe. And treif, short for treifa, is always a, 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 a bird that is treif. is called a of. Treif, of. Everything that's kosher, tzipar, kosher. Except one locust, some locusts, they're an exception, they're a kosher, even though they're, it says, oh. How come you happen to walk along the way, accidental, you can't plant uh, a, 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 per, a, a bird there in order to have the midst of Shluch Khan? can't do that. Uh, yeah. One opinion says yes. The Chovas, Chuvas, Chavas, Yoir says, you can plant it and make it happen like that. Why? Afido lo rotso. You don't want to take the bonim just to send away the mother. You can do that, says the Chavaz Yor, and make him the mitzvah of um, Shluch HaKan. Because you know why? Because the word Yikare is written wrong. Yikare, it happens to be a by accident, it should be end with a hey. Mikro, accident. Well, no accident, but it, just by accident, you have to come across a kosher bird nest, and you want the mother or the bird or the chicks. Send away the mother bird, and you take the chicken. Prat uh, lemezuman means excluding set up a chicken or a, or a pigeon nest or dog. No, it's all accidental. So if it's all accidental, Rashi says, Prat lemezuman, not something that you set up. Not according to the Drosh um, Chovas Yoyer. He says, no, you can set it up. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because Yikar is written wrong. Yikar is written with the Aleph. It is calling you. You can set it up that it calls you, not by accident. Yikore, it's calling you. That's one opinion. That's not the halach, no. It's only when you happen to come across it. Mikro, by accident. If it's accidental, why is it written with a hay? Mikro, with a hay, is accidental. Why is it written with an olive? Something is calling you. Oy, what's here is the deepest thing about Mashiach. 
Kikara Velo Yikara with a hay. You know, there's a lot of words that if you just change one letter, you get the total different meaning. Shema Shin Memayim. If you write it with um, Shin Mem Aleph, Shema, maybe there's a God. Better be careful. Write it with an iron, that's why you wrote a big iron. Yiro, fear, Yud Reish He Aleph. Yud Reish He, to Yora, to shoot. Oh no, please, and it's like in, in Hallel. Oh no, in Hallel with a hey, it means it's true. And the Abdecha, on Hashem can the Abdecha. Abdecha, I'm your servant. It's true, it doesn't mean please. Look at Hirsch. Moshe, but sometimes it's written with an Aleph. That would, it's not written. Yeah, it means Maso, a load. Ki yikare, to call, yikra, to meet by accident. What are we talking about here? If you happen to see a nest that's calling you, is telling you something, and and each any tree on the ground, a frochem of basem chicks or eggs, or aimrovetas and the mothers hovering over it, send away the mother bird. Send away the mother bird. I'm gonna Blow your mind now with the Mayan base at Shereva. He says, say, this is only for people who have a strong stomach. I'm not going to go into detail because die the remise of the I cannot go into detail. It's too explosive. Send away the mother bird. Take the children for yourself. Says the Mayan base at Shereva. But Medrish and Devarim. Rabo, Pashas Vov, Zion. If you keep this mitzvah of Shulchan, you will bring a Liyahu Hanavi. A Liyahu Hanavi. What's the connection? That doesn't say about Liyahu Hanavi. I'm going to send to you a Liyahu Hanavi. What's the connection between the Ha'im and the He'll comfort you. He'll return the hearts of the fathers to the children who bought shoes. You have to clarify this connection. Now comes a thunderous idea. Venera seems Shemarambe's Atorikan towards hinting here Remez got a very big Remez. The divre Hanavi Omus says an Omus. Hine ain't Hashem elokim. Behold the eyes of God. But Melocha Chato is against this evil government, the government of Israel. It was Beis Yehu, wicked man. Ben Nimshi, wicked father. But Malchus Yisrael, they ran the government of Israel. Malchus Yisrael, as opposed to Malchus Yehuda. Also, I will destroy it. I'll play out them off the face of the earth. Ephes, Kilo, Hashmid, Hashmid. However, I will not destroy a space yak of the people. No, Hashem. Shehinei, Kamalchus Yisrael, when the Jewish government, Eina no Heges, Al Piha Torah, does not run Al Piha Torah, the Chuna B'Shem is called Aim. Get rid of her. Who gets rid of her? Aleph Mem, Eliyahu. Men, Moshiach. Can you see? Rivu Bim come fight against your mother who's misleading you. It says no Shea. Rivu, fight your mother who misled you. Rivu Bim come, Rivu, fight again. Zosi Hamamlocha Chato, this is the wicked government. Remus Lon Hakosin, Shalayach the Shalach said, send away the mother. The wicked government. Hamamlocha Chato, the wicked government. In this case, we're talking about the government of Malchus Yisrael, of Yehu ben Nimshi. Save the children, save the people, make them bow Jews. Kilosh Hashmid Aspid, as Beis Yaakov, I will not wipe out the Jewish people. Commotion Emmer, Eisel Yohu, like I said, Bel Yohu. The Heishi Bleib Ovis Abonim, the Ovis will come back to the children. Sheish Yishlol, Kol Malchus Yisrael, includes all Jewish governments. She ain't them apihat oro. That's not a 
according to Torah law. The Yitvul in Bnei El Chai. And we then connect ourselves to the children of Bnei El Chai, the average person, to bring them back to their fathers there, to Torah and mitzvahs. The Yeshuvah El Hashem, they all do Shuvah. And get rid of the aim. The aim is Chush Shiluach or aim. By getting rid of the aim, I bring open them. Aim will be done by Eliyahu and Mashiach, Alt Mem, the Kohen Gadol, the Levi, and the Melech from Yehuda. Hatu Memayer Bias Eliyahu, you'll bring Eliyahu and Navi. Boy, say this is thunderous. That is enough. Dai lechakimo the remizo. Let's learn a few dinim in Chodesh Elul. Here, by the way, the kids of Shulchan Aruch has Hilchas Chodesh Elul. Shulchan Aruch doesn't exist. That's in uh, Hilchas Rosh Hashanah. If you go to the, the Tov Kuf Pei Beis, 582, you'll see um, the Tefillah of the, ser- the, the Seder. Tefillah asks the prayers of the Seder's made Shuba. Now, how could there be a Seder's made Shuba? Please tell me. There's no Shuba on Rosh Hashanah. It's Yom Adin. You don't say Al Chayd or Shamu, nothing. Even the first, Avinu Malkin, you leave out the first one, Chaton, you leave it out. And if you say you don't hit yourself, not on Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is not Shuvah, no Rachimim, no mercy. It's Din. You are being Paschal by Hashem. There's no, you have no business and pleading. That comes the day after Rosh Hashanah. Yom HaDin is not, if there's made Shuvah, there are only nine days of Shuvah. How can you say there's made Shuvah? So we spoke a few weeks ago, there's no such thing as the three weeks. Because it's called Bain Hamasora because it's 22 days. And that's not three weeks. But the people call it three weeks. But Seres Mech is exact. But I just proved to you there's only nine. Chuvah is after Rosh Hashanah. Nine days. Nine days of do Chuvah to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But one day you have to know who is HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem Hu Elohim. Do you know to whom you're doing Chuvah? Kabluni Aleichem, accept me upon you. I am the Melech Malchem. Now you know to whom to do tshuva. That's the first day of tshuva, but I know who to do tshuva tomorrow. That's why the Sarah's made tshuva. The first day of tshuva is to recognize who's the boss. Hashem Hulikim Eino Milvado. You have no way out of this fix called life unless you recognize Borolam. You blow to him 30 times. And in Shemones, another 60. Uh, 70. You have to declare, the shofar declaring, Hashem Hu Kim. Now, next day, I can do tshuva for the next nine days. Let's look at this. We can't learn all the dinam of Only for five minutes we're going to learn this now. Dine, Yimei Tachnun, and Be'er Rosh Hashanah, Tov Kuf, Pei Aleph. 581. So it says, we said all that in the questions of, uh, of what we learned in the last week's parasha. That, that they, um, they finish up the questions of the, the last two weeks, not this week, last two weeks we went through the 22 questions of of uh, Cholish El, the song that the Torah any time, right on the header there. And right after Rosh Hashanah, we're going to, right a week before Rosh Hashanah, we're going to put up the questions and answers on Rosh Hashanah. This is the questions and answers on Cholish El. And right after Rosh Hashanah, we're going to do, right immediately, the questions on Yom Kippur, Q&A and Yom Kippur. And right after Yom Kippur, we're going to put the questions there for Sukkot. And after that, we're going to, a few months later, put Hanukkah. All right. There's one thing here. Tov kuf pei alav simon beis noig lesanus er roshon. There's a meaning to fast er roshon. Hago. That's the ramo. Vamedaktik him noig lishukol echad lesanus asor yomim. Very people are very medaktik in mitzvahs. They fast ten days of tshuva every day. That's impossible. Or four days you can. Roshon or two days you can. Shabbos shuva and every yom kippur you can. So you have to make up four days. So we told you in an earlier piece uh, last week uh, that you do the Arab for the first day Slichas, Arab Rosh Hashanah, Som Gedali Yom Kippur, that's the four days, in the ten days. In the doctor, the Echel Misana, Asir Yomim, Chein Nachel Asos, and that's proper to do. You can't do a whole day, do a half a day. Chol Eilu HaTaniyos, all these Taniyos, Ein Sorach LaHashlam, you don't have to finish them. A few hours, Tuch HaTzos. Ein Kor Behem Baichal, you don't lay it's only a minute. In Chal Baris Mila, the Erev Rosh Hashanah, on Rav Rosh Hashanah, when you're fasting, there's a minute. Everybody fasts the Erev Rosh Hashanah, at least half a day. And I say the Baris Mila. Now, fasting the Erev Rosh Hashanah is a minute, and the Baris Mila is at the Raisin. 
you can eat. And there's a minig to fast, eat Ervashon before Alosa Shacha. Alosa Shacha dawn, when Venus is visible, dawn, Shacha, the morning star, that's 42 minutes before, not sunrise. You have to eat before 42 minutes before sunrise. You know why? Because the guy used to fast on the Arab of the holiday, so we don't want to do that. We eat a little before that to show we're not fasting. The guy used to do that, so we don't want to. We want to show we're not. We're eating erev Rosh Hashanah, but a little earlier. Showing the the son of the erev Chagim. They used to fast at the beginning of the erev of their holidays. In order that they could gorge themselves at night. We can eat blow tonight without it tonight. If you have a bris, because that's the minute. Ain't no from the mountain name erev Rosh Hashanah but tefillah. We do not fall tachnon on Er Rosh Hashanah in the davening, but you do fall tachnon in slichos. So how can you have this minute if you're a lazy person and stay slichos at 7 o'clock? After the day start already, how can you not, you have to and not fall, and not uh, say tachnon. But we say tachnon by, 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 by slichos, but not by shakras. But if, it's, if you daven late, you don't say tachnon even in any one of the two things, not by slichos, not by, and not by um, uh, davening, because it's too late. So you have to get up very early at Rosh Hashanah, very, very early, two hours before, five o'clock, four thirty. Ain't no from Avnei and Be'er Rosh Hashanah but Filo. Ah, for Bishon no from Avnei by Shmoras Av Baslichot. Even though you do say Tachan in the morning before sunrise, before uh, uh, dawn, before uh, Alos, but Baslichot you have to say Tachan only by Baslichot. Ain't talking Rosh Hashanah. You don't uh, blow show Be'er Rosh Hashanah to separate between the keys. Ha Minog and the key is Ha Mitzvah, which is the next day, so one day break. Machabsim, you get. Machabes, you wash, you wash your. Oh, you Machabes. Machabes, you wash your clothes. Or Mistaprim, you take a shave and a haircut. There, Rosh Hashanah, Nogim, because we're not worried about Yom Adin, we did Shu the whole month. We Nogim, the Tavol, and there's a Minig to get Tovol. There, Rosh Hashanah, Mashom Kerry, because of Kerry. Right before Chatzos, not too early. Right before Chatzos is for the for Arab Rosh, Arab Rosh Hashanah is uh, starting after Chatzos. Before Chatzos is not Arab Rosh Hashanah. The latest part of Arab Rosh Hashanah, you do it for the Tovel for Rosh Hashanah. So you do it right before Chatzos, not after Chatzos, right before. So it's for Arab Rosh Hashanah and for Arab Arab, you understand? Shum Kheri, Viesh Bekomish, Noeg Leilech, La Kavoras. Some people, they go to some place, they go to the Kavor, they say, uh, they say, uh, Beis HaKoros, the cemetery. Well, the harvest was from Tachanunim, and they do a lot of prayers there. But no again, Tzedakah Laniyim. No, so we give Tzedakah Laniyim, because Tzedakah Tafel Mi Mavis. You don't want your Pesach next day, the day to be Mavis. And you call your maid, Shuva, starting from Rosh Hashanah, you say, Amel HaKadosh, Amel HaMishpat. You don't say, Hakel HaKadosh. And if you don't know if you said the right thing or not, you have to go back to the beginning. You have to say Amel HaKadosh, not a Kale HaKadosh, like you do the whole year. You have to say Amel HaKadosh, you have to go back in the first three brothers. But if it's in the Melch Ohei Tzokol Mishpat, you don't have to go back. Because either way, instead of saying Amel HaMishpat, you say Melch Ohei Tzokol Mishpat, you still said Amel. It's good enough. Okay. And the other things that we say, Zechron de Levrocha, Zechron de Omichamocha, if you miss it, you don't go back. Only the, for what you say, the two things in, uh, in the beginning of the Rocha. That's mock, but that you got to go back. And then there's Devarim, they have the minic to eat on Rosh Hashanah, Sibanim. Yehei, Adam, Rogel, Echem, Rosh Hashanah, Rubya. There should, Bechabah writes this, he's a Sephardi. There should, a man should be used to eating on the night of Rosh Hashanah, Rubya, carrots. The Haino Tilosan, Tiltan, carrots, Karasi, Silko, salad, Tamarim, dates, cross, celery, Kishiyoko, Ruvia. When you eat Ruvia, you should say, Yirazo, Shiyirbu, Ruvia, Yirbu, Zechuyo, Seinu. You should be include and, and increase our virtue. Karati, Karati, which is. Um, uh, I don't know, some kind of leeks or vegetables. Yichrusu, you should cut up our enemies. Silko, 
salad, lettuce. You stalk it, and the enemy should disappear. Tomorrow, dates, yitamu sonenu. Our, our enemies should die. Yitamu, mus. Kro, kufresh olive, celery, yikora, with an iron. Gazar dinen, you should tear up the gazar dinen against us. Yikul fanenu, schui sen, and only read our schusim. That's the ram, the mechaber. Now the hagor. Ramo, v'yesh noigum lecho, tapuach. Some have a minig, Ashkenaz minig, to eat tapuach mosok, a sweet apple. Bidvash, in honey, make it more sweet. But Omrim, tishadish yolein, here was Omrim, v'nech Hashem l'kem l'vzeinu, she tishadish yolein, shonu tovu m'sukha. You should make and have a sweet year. Why an apple? Why not a pear, peach, and plum? Because the Eitz Hadas, according to some, was an apple. We should not do what Chava did, eat from the Eitz Hadas. A tapuach, an apple. Some say it was esrik, because an esrik and an apple both are round, nafuch, blown up. So tapuach, nafuch, any round kavi, a baby. could be an apple, could be an esrik. Kain noigim v'yesh ochim ramonim pomegranates. V'omrim nirba ramon yirimon yirba. Should nearby, it should increase our sukkusim kerimon that has six hundred thirteen seeds. The noig lechol bosser showing fresh meat, not dried meat. Doesn't mean fat meat. Fresh meat, not smoked or dried. Call me name seeker all sweet year, sweet thing. Therefore, today we shouldn't have any salt that night because simanim milsehi simanim is a very big thing. Don't put any salt there. Ah, a kar kabon chotakabel. Leave it on the table, but don't use it. Shouldn't some people don't put salt in the soup? Nothing. No mustard. No bitter stuff. No pickles. Nothing. Or Rosh Hashanah. Only things sweet. Sweet. Because simanim milsehi. Simanim does make an effect on you. Just like your name. What name you have makes an effect on you. Where you live. What community you are. Uh, simanim milsehi. Person is very very sick. They change his name. So you say God said you told Hashem you shouldn't pass in this man. And me says a different man. We gave him a different name. Yehuda we gave him. Uh, Alter we gave him. We gave him an Chaim. It's not the same person. Shame, shame, uh, Shino Hashem it changes your muscle. Shino Mokum move to a different place that changes your muscle too. Simon and Milsim. Simon is a bit means something. You read you eat Rosh Hakavas the head of a sheep that's many asfar. They put a piece of a sheep there on the table on Rosh Hashanah because we want to be a Rosh and not the Zona to a tail. Near the Rosh below the Zona. Doesn't say in Pirk Office you should be a tail. Zona of La Rai is better to be a tail of lions than a Rosh of fox, a head of foxen. Yeah, it's much better to be a head of Tamidic, tail of Tamidic Chachamim than you're the Rosh. Rather than naming the Rosh of foxen, smart Alex, you're really the tail. And besides that, you should have a sheep head because remind us of that Kedah was on Rosh Hashanah. Remind us of the Kedah's Yitzchak. We should have the Shusim of Yitzchak that he let himself be slaughtered. He was 37 years old. Hashem never asked him to be in a Kedah. He taught, asked the father and his son trusted the father. And they were there from Yitzchak. We get a Munas Chachamim. He didn't ask his father why you're doing this. God told him and he knew his father at 137 did not have Alzheimer's or dementia. He trusted his father. From Yitzchak we learn Shusim uh, Amunas Chachamim, you trust your elders. Zim Vezecher Le'e Ayl Shei Yitzchak, that came to happen Rosh Hashanah. Some people are careful not to eat egos and nuts. She egos be gematria chet, ches tes alaf. Eighteen. Ah, egos is seventeen. That's why chet can be written without an alaf. Okay, Rabbi Yisrael, we're finished, and um, we'll tell you when we get closer to Rosh Hashanah, if the Akeda happened on the first day of Rosh Hashanah, why do you read it on the second day? Look at my uh, Torah any time, the question is on Rosh Hashanah. I, I answer the question there, why is it that if the Akeda happened on the first day, you read the Dachit the second day, and on the first day you read something else. That what you read on the first day is more important than the Akeda, even though it happened on the first day, you read it on the second day. Look at my Hilchah's Rosh Hashanah. If you have my safer, or you'll wait till you get it, or uh, call me up on um, the cell phone, I'll tell you the answer. 845-826-4789. And I'll tell you why that came to happen on the first day, we read it on the second day. And when did they? Well, the actually saw it has two days also. Okay, our voice is like, it's on the start. 
and uh, Siva Mechasim Tova Tizku Lishanim Rabot.